guys welcome back we're here on uh to the max outdoors matt's over in behind the camera uh i'm craig from viper ammunition i'm the owner i got my cousin cj here we're doing some pattern testing uh i've shot this gun before but this is new to me it's a mossberg sa28 previously you've seen me shooting the tristar viper g2 uh, i got a great deal on this gun couldn't pass it up also dipped in the uh, mossy oak green leaf my favorite camo stopped with a vortex ccw defender true lock 515 i also have the barrel stickers on here we're shooting a uh, ounce and a half of nine by nine and a half today pretty sure was i'm gonna be hunting with this year normally i hunt with the eight and a half nine and a half but we got a target set up at 40 yards we're gonna see what she does we've already kind of zeroed this thing in to where she needs to be and uh, it's just a matter of fine tuning it to get what we want but like Always we have a target up 40 yards. They are the sucky birch woods, but it's still something for y'all to see. Yep, they do. If you can't tell, we pretty much sub bore all across the board here with 20 being the biggest sub bore that we carry in the woods, but four tens and 28s are pretty much where it's at, especially like you've seen there in the videos. You know, we're big on youth hunting. We like taking kids out and a kid can shoot that 28 gauge. That is a semi-operated gas gun. It is very little recoil. Uh, the 410 shingle, single shots that we shoot, he shoots the Rossi Tuffy, and I shoot the uh, Stevens 301. CJ has a Stevens 301 too that he's going to hunt with and his kids will hunt with. So you've watched all the videos, you can go back and see them. I'll try to plug some of them here in the corner. But man, we're getting we're getting 80 and 90 percent uh, pattern retention on the 10 inch circle at 40 yards out of a sub bore. That's way more than enough lethal to kill a bird out of a, you know, whether it be an eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, or 10 in that one ounce load in that 410 or 15 16 13 16 I mean. It's like my 20 with my Stoger. Oh yeah, I will plug a, uh, I'll put that picture here in the video. He just shot a Stoger today, that 3020 Stoger with a 565. Yep, Jebs. Jebs choke in it. I'll plug that picture. Well, I'll, I'll cut it in the video here. Jesus, whiz, that's devastating. I mean, there's no way to get away from, there's no way for the turkey to run out of that. So, and that's at 40 yards, remind you. Imagine at 20, <laughs> you're taking the heads off. Yeah, and and be honest with you, we're doing some testing today and I'm throwing wads through the paper at 40 yards. I mean, throwing the wad through the paper at 40. Those, those videos will be out later, but. Yeah, I was actually going to get ready to bring that up. You know, today, today wise, I mean, uh, here soon we're going to be out of the ounce and a half uh, due to some parts being on back order you can't get them so we're doing our due diligence we do have an ounce and three eighths load uh, we're trying to improve that and get it better uh, we shot a couple today not on video because we don't want to you know R &D work yeah, yeah it's just r d but it is very promising of what what we're looking at with those at 40 <laughs> yards you're not going to be missing out with much the difference is 601 601 grains an ounce and three eighths to a 656 an ounce and a half so you're not missing out much and the patterns are still just as good to kill your bird anywhere yeah and that's what he's saying that ounce and three eighths is 650 or uh, ounce and a half is 656 grains a shot versus that ounce and three eighths that's 601 grains shot so you're not giving up you get on the internet and look at 18 gram cc tungsten you're not giving up a whole bunch of shot and like i said we're shooting both craig and i shoot mossberg sa28s now that's a common gun that tristar viper it is it's the same it's the same, same gun. That. it's the same gun so those are probably your two biggest 28s right now on the market that's what we're testing with we love true locks if you can tell we've got true locks jammed in everything and and we will have true locks jammed in everything by the end of the time but Look him up, tell him Viper Ammo sent you a true lock, he'll treat you right. So we're gonna get on to shooting this gun here. Iron the hole. Iron the hole. Standard 40 yard target. Camera's on target just like always. I don't use ear protection as I'm already doing. <laughs> I can tell you from right here that that's a pretty good pattern. It is. All right, we'll pick you up down there. All right, guys, welcome back. We're down here range at 40. Uh, nine by nine and a half load, ounce and a half. I can see our cores right here. 
a little right. Up and down's great. You just have to move it over just a few clicks to get it where we want it. Ain't nothing wrong with that pattern at 40 yards. I mean, we do have a few flyers. Yeah, not very many not flyers, much. though. I mean, that's pretty good. You know, it, if you go by a standard, you know, 20 inch circle at 40 yards and you would start here, you're looking at 90% plus retention without counting. You know, start here and you would have your 20 and you're at a 90% retention. Is, you can't really ask for any better than that. With a lot of leeway too. I mean, it gives you that opportunity or a chance if a bird's moving on you and you happen to squeeze off when he's not on your optic or in your red dot. You still get that lethability of it. Pretty happy with that. We'll make a slight little adjustment there and then he'll be ready to go in the woods. You know, anything else to add? I think that's pretty good. I mean, you make that adjustment and you got, I mean, you got a six inch string right there. Yeah, you're from, you're from Waddles to Noggin. <laughs> yeah, you, and, you're, you're dead. And, and also a good thing about TSS is kind of what I just mentioned, you know, if you do happen to pull off on a bird, it happens. You know, you get caught up in a moment. You do have the leeway. My core is here and I'm still putting two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 11, you know, 20 plus BBs in a kill zone and I'm not even centered. You know, so you still killed that bird and he's, and it's an ethical kill. It's not, it's a humane kill. Yeah, there's not much flop left in that bird with all the vertebrae shots and the brain shots. There's not, I know there's two on the brain there that didn't come out very well on the camera. They just didn't punch the color, but yeah, there's actually five, six. Yeah, it, it, that's lethal. That, that bird's not flopping much. If he is, it's just muscle memory. So, thank you for watching.